Hey everybody, Harry Bell here. Happy New Year! Bonne année à tous! I have a video to share with you. Some information about citizenship in the Louis Riel School Division. And I'm always looking for a gimmick. I decided that maybe doing an interpretive dance might be a little shocking because you don't want to see me in my tights. So I decided to come out to Fort White Alive. What better place to celebrate citizenship than a place that is actually trying to improve the environment. And I'm so thrilled that I get to be here on Treaty 1 territory sharing some information with you. The first one that I want to share with you is a new resource that's available to all schools in the Louis Riel School Division. It's called What Up? And it has a specific title for a specific reason. The biggest thing that people are always asking is, hey, what's going on out there? What's happening in a school that maybe is interesting to me and my students that we could get on board and do too? It's about connecting dots. Your citizenship rep actually has two hard copies of What Up? And you should have a chance to look at them just now if you haven't already. Let's take a look at them together. Here's the front cover. It basically gives you the idea of why this resource exists. Once you get on the inside, there's page after page after page of themes, of projects, of organizations, you name it. Anything to do with citizenship and where it's happening in the Louis Riel School Division. That's really the point, to connect those dots, to find out if there is somebody out there who's doing something that either you already are and you'd like a partner, or if there's somebody who has a new idea and you'd like to get on board. The resource is housed in the library, or at least it will be if it isn't already today. Students, staff, and parents can all access the What Up resource. The next thing I want to talk to you about is Real Talks for Action. Hopefully you know about it, you should know about it, and your students should know about it too. We're getting videos in. It's a lot like TED Talks, and we have everything in both English and French from kindergarten right through grade 12. Please, please, please think about how your students could create a video. How you, as an adult, could create a video. How a parent or a parent council could create a video. All with the subject of connecting dots and trying to make those three pillars for education for sustainable development first and foremost in everything that we do in our classrooms. Check out the news story on the portal that's been posted just recently showing how to make a real talks for action. Here I am standing in front of a replica teepee at Fort White Alive with some Plains bison frolicking in the background. What better place to bring up the topic of Canada's 150th birthday celebration? I know that schools are already talking about ways to celebrate and I suspect that there will be all kinds of very cool things happening out there between now and the end of June. This is just a heads up that there will be some invitations posted on my site through a portal story to some things that will include all schools in the school division. So the last thing I want to talk to you about is the celebration of innovations in citizenship on May 26th. Hopefully you'll remember last year I began advertising for schools to think of what kinds of projects, videos, experiments, artwork, you name it, could be shared divisionally at a celebration being held at the board office. I want you to know that now there is actually a registration form available. I want you to think about individual projects, school projects, class projects, anything that has anything to do with citizenship, and how your school would be able to represent that for other schools hosted at the board office. The idea is that it'll be kind of like a science fair, I guess, with it being much more than just science, of course. So let's call it then a citizenship fair. And let's call it a celebration of all the innovative ways that people are capturing citizenship in the schools in Louis Riel School Division. I think it's going to be a spectacular event, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what each school has to offer. And there it is. Everything that you need to know for today about how we're trying to connect the dots in citizenship across the Louis Riel School Division. You are going to hear from me again. Sorry. I'm actually looking forward to it. 
Until then, take really good care of yourself. Bye!